Hi, and welcome to 934 Gallery. My name is Johnny Riddle, I'm the Executive Director here, and thank you so much for joining us for the virtual opening of the September exhibition, Body Forms, by the 934 Fest featured artist, Daniel Rona. Tonight, Daniel's going to give you a tour of his exhibition, a little bit of insight into the pieces, and make sure to stick around the entire time because he's going to end with his brand new 70-foot mural that's on the north side of the gallery. If you like what you saw tonight and would like to explore it in person, go to 934gallery.org to book an appointment. We are open every Saturday from 12 to 3, except next Saturday, September 12th, in which we are having our fifth annual 934 Fest. It's going to be 12 hours of live music, murals, comedy, spoken word, and more. And you can find that on 934fest.org. Well, right now, I'd like to introduce our 934 Fest featured artist, Daniel Rona. Daniel? Hello, everybody, and thanks for tuning in. Uh, we are in my solo show, Body Forms, at the moment. Right here is probably my number one piece, as well as the title card piece uh, that is shown. Um, a lot of this body of work is exploring how far I could push the actual model and kind of how I used to perceive the body form of the art world and advance it or make it even more weird while still keeping its kind of, or my favorite effects, or <laughs> my favorite parts and painterly elements that I include uh, when I work uh, all the time. Um, this is also a sketch that I did Afterwards, or towards the middle of the painting progress, I initially you know, did the actual outlines and entire composition before heading back into my sketchbook and kind of figuring out what was the next step and which other elements I could include to push the composition or the order of what I had painted uh, already. These ones here are also, again, following the same idea of body forms. This here is actually the last piece of the show that I created, followed along with a sketch that was done previously to the painting being done. Um, you know, a lot of these are actually just body forms that I pictured in my head and um, wanted to, again, push to, the, to its limits of recognizable and what wasn't recognizable. A lot of these are painted under the same kind of qualities as paintings from before, uh, which are, you know, speed, and I also focus on color and composition, heavily also into my line work. And this is probably one of the fourth biggest pieces in the show. A lot of these works are scaled up for the fact that I do like expressing, you know, longer brush strokes and maximizing the limit that I can reach on the canvas. Head over into these ones here, backed up. These are three separate ones, also following the same body forms uh, concept of, you know, really exploring the potential of, you know, what, what was recognizable as a person. We've got feet, we've got hands, and in some of these throughout, you'll see eyeballs located, um, which kind of make you kind of think towards, you know, what, what a conventional human looks like. And into the main area of the gallery are some of the bigger pieces from the show, uh, as well as a series in which this one here on the wall follows me creating three different paintings in three different styles while kind of maintaining the same compositional element uh, of the structure being a person that's kind of just standing. I like this symbolizes more aggression and anger or uh, maybe a, a darker kind of spot in my kind of painting life. This one I feel symbolizes a lot of the playful elements and kind of gestural uh, 
um, markings that also figure the body forms. This one here is kind of saying screw all those and going abstract with kind of how I'm picturing the colors as well as uh, the background. Uh, maybe I was feeling a little bit more weird and uh, creative that day. Now this one here is actually, I stopped it quite early into the process. Um, it is completed in graphite and charcoal, but initially it was supposed to be the background drawing and foredrawing for an actual painting that I was going to do later on. Um, I stopped it pretty early because I was enjoying my mark making, especially you know, up into these kind of valued areas. Um, so I just made it a point to myself to stop and uh, appreciate it for kind of what it is, kind of the underworkings of what was to be one of these maybe super colorful paintings. This one here is also followed by a sketch that I did about midway through the process where I'm doing the actual gestural and I'm getting my initial expression off um, for the beginning of the painting and then I go back into my sketchbook where I kind of figure out which elements I can also include without completely destroying or having to uh, do more work later on to cover up areas that I don't like. Um, I'd say this process happens not too often, but a good amount of time to where I'm, I'm thinking about my paintings and, and ways to elevate them without um, having to do actual painting and kind of finding out that way, which is kind of you know, clashing with my actual style, whereas I'm, you know, always trying to get the final image from the clashing and the aggression of multiple layers and such. This one here is actually, uh, if you can believe it, a self-referenced painting. Uh, it's kind of an ode to some of the masters that I studied, you know, when I was earlier on in my art career, such as Da Vinci or Michelangelo. I would always realize that their sculptures were added, or their female sculptures were male sculptures just with large chunks of extra plaster or marble or that they just didn't cut away. Uh, that is me kind of referencing it next to an actual uh, model of a nude woman. On to my biggest piece of the actual show. This is an eight foot by six foot piece. Uh, it is two canvases put together. Uh, this one was a kind of a work in progress for, let's say about three months I would take it in and out of storage thinking I was always done. I didn't finish it until about two months out from the show. Um, was that early July? Um, whereas you can see some of the elements that were added later on and some of the elements that were taken off of the original painting such as this painting here references the paintings behind the camera that follow the diptych kind of uh, idea. Uh, there's areas in here where I've cut and completely, so originally this was a gray kind of purplish background painting and I covered this entire section with blue and just read, pretty much redid everything. A lot of these up here, I mean, this is all just kind of the family gathering of everything that's been in my show, kind of from every style to the more defined to the actual kind of cartoony and illustrative um, style that I also use. I think we're done here. Now we are heading out to my largest mural yet for the 934 Fest. It is 74 feet. It is a painting, artist making art, to where they're painting a mural uh, in the background, but also incorporating the body forms figures throughout, kind of showing the scope of the newer work. 
uh, mixed in with the, the older wood. So the scene, the scene that they're painting is a ocean scene. This is one that I've incorporated before into actual canvas work. Um, these guys, or the guys in the background in the actual mural that itself are kind of chest up, floating in water, and there's some sort of connection being made between like this figure that they're making and this character by the window. In some of the areas, they actually kind of start being sucked back into the mural, like this guy who's shirtless. He may have tried to climb up the arm and fell into the actual ocean, and now he's stuck and being becoming a part of the mural. There's also one at the very end here where the artist is creating a rough sketch with spray paint a kind of another element in the actual figure uh, with the, along with the other two figures. He's trying to take a, a some sort of sort of rowboat and um, being grabbed in by my characters. Thanks so much for tuning in. Again, if you would like to see this work in person, go to 934gallery.org to book your appointment or make a purchase if you uh, if a piece stood out to you and make sure to tune in next Saturday September 12th from 11 a.m. to 11 p.m. on 934fest.org for live music murals comedy spoken word and more and for 934 gallery I'm Johnny Riddle thanks and have a great guys thanks for viewing hope you get to check it out in person this will be up for a year my show will be up for a month uh, look forward to having you and stay tuned for